Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make these plant-based energy bars using five simple ingredients. I posted a picture of these on my Instagram and a lot of you were very interested in learning the recipe, so today we are going to make them. These are perfect for post-workout nutrition, for snacks throughout the day, or even for dessert, they are just that good. They also contain no added sugar and a lot of beneficial nutrients. So let's go ahead and get started. You will need one pound of dates. I'm using a combination of medjool dates and honey dates, but you can use whatever variety is available in your area. You will also need one teaspoon of sea salt, two and a quarter cups of nuts. I'm using one cup of unsalted roasted peanuts and one and a quarter cups of raw almonds. One third cup of unsweetened organic dark chocolate chips. This might come as a surprise, but dark chocolate is actually an antioxidant and has a lot of health benefits. These contain just one ingredient, which is organic cacao. They might look like regular chocolate chips, but they're actually very bitter by themselves. However, in our recipe, they're going to add a really great flavor. You will need an additional half cup of unsalted peanuts and three quarters teaspoon of salt for the topping of these bars. Begin by removing the pits from your dates. I like to do this by making a horizontal incision with a sharp knife and then just pulling them out with my fingers, but you can easily do this with just your hands. You also want to remove any pieces of stem if they don't come off when you remove the pit. I want to quickly talk about why dates have become such an essential part of my diet and I think they are so amazing. They are not only good for heart health, for bone health, for your nervous system, they also help with digestion and they contain a very high amount of potassium which is why they're such an excellent choice for eating after a workout because they're going to replenish lost electrolytes. Remember that you can compost your pits and any plant-based food scraps. Next, I'm going to start adding the ingredients for the base of my bars to a food processor. I'm starting with my nuts, so I have my peanuts, my raw almonds, and now I'm going to add my dates, my sea salt, and now I'm going to put the lid on and just kind of pulse these gently, and once everything starts to break up, I'm going to turn it on high for about 20 seconds. After that, I like to give my ingredients a quick mix with the spoon to make sure everything is being evenly chopped. And then I'm going to continue processing my mixture until everything starts to form a dough-like ball. Your mixture should be sticky and moldable, kind of like cookie dough, and we are ready to roll it out. I'm going to cut two pieces of parchment paper that are equal in size, and I went ahead and measured these for you to be more precise, and they were about 13 by 15 inches. At this point, I'm placing my date mixture onto one sheet of my parchment paper and I'm going to flatten it into a rectangular shape using a combination of a rolling pin and my hands. This does not have to be perfect at all, but once you're satisfied with your shape, you're going to go back to your food processor and make the topping for your bars. So I'm just combining that additional half cup of peanuts and three quarters teaspoon of salt and then I'm going to pulse this until it resembles crumbles. You don't want to overdo it because you don't want to make peanut butter, so just do this until your peanuts are finely chopped. Now dump your topping onto your date mixture and go ahead and spread it out with your fingers until there is an even coating. Cover your bars with the second piece of parchment paper and press firmly so the topping adheres to the base of your bars. Now stick them in the freezer for one hour. After an hour, remove them from the freezer and then cut them into individual sized portions. I like to do this by cutting off the edges and then cutting the middle section into bars. I like to store these in the freezer in a glass Tupperware container, so I'm reusing my top layer of parchment paper as kind of a spacer in between each layer. All right, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys get a chance to try this recipe out at home because they are seriously so, so, so good. I cannot stop eating them. If you do try it, leave me a comment below and let me know how you like them. By the way, these will stay good in the freezer for a couple of months and I just think they are so convenient and healthy and such a good alternative to processed snacks and store-bought energy bars. 
If you enjoy watching videos like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you so much for watching.